Hello, you're welcome. Let's see how we are going to solve this uh, beautiful algebra problem. So the question state k dot k dot k plus k equals 10. So what's the value of k? So now here, you can see that k times k times k, that will give us k to the power of 3, then plus k. Then we are having 10 here. I can take the 10 to the left hand side and that will give us, give us 0. So now from here, I can write this as k to the power of 3 plus k then minus this 9 or this 10, I can write this as 8 minus 2. So that's minus 8 minus 2 going to give me what? Minus 10. Then we have to be 0. I have k to the power of 3 plus k minus this 8 can be written in as in this form with the respect to base 2 then to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0. Now from here, I will bring this and this together because they are having the same power. k to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus k and minus 2, then equals 0. So now from here, the next thing we're going to do is that here we have two, we have what? We have a cube. That is difference of two cubes. So we should recall. Recall that when you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this will give us a minus b. Then into bracket square this. Then multiply this and this together. We have a b then plus square the b. We have b square. So we can see that this is in this form. We're going to have k squared right or k minus 2 then k squared 2 times k plus 2k square this we're going to have 4 then we have plus k minus 2 equals 0 so now looking at these two terms you can see k minus 2 is common so we have k minus 2 if you divide this and this by this, we're going to have k squared plus 2k plus 4, right? Then this will be plus 1 equals 0. So we have k minus 2. We have k squared plus 2k, then plus 5, right? Because this plus this, we have 0. So we have 0 form equation. So here, k minus 2 is either 0. Uh, we have k plus k squared plus 2k plus 5 to be equal 0. So now here, when this minus 2 transpose to the right hand side, we're going to have k to the k equals 2. That is k1. So we have this, which is real solution. Now, from here, we cannot stop because right from the beginning, this k equals 2 is just one solution okay out of three possible solutions we are expecting so we need to solve for the rest right so by solving this second equation completely right so the second equation okay for the case two the second equation is this let me write it k squared plus 2k plus 5 equals 0 so therefore, I'm going to use quadratic formula to solve this. And you know, we're going to be needing this constant. A is the constant coefficient of k, which is what? 1. B is the constant coefficient of k. k squared, 1. For k is 2. While the constant term is what? Is 5. So we're going to have k equals, taking the quadratic formula, Okay, so now we have k equals minus b is 2. We have 2 plus or minus. Then we have b squared, which is 2 squared. We have 4 minus 4. Into bracket a is 1. Then c is 5. Right? Then all divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Okay, we have k to be equals minus 2 plus or minus. Then 4 minus 4 times 5 we have what we have it to be 20 then divided by 2 
So we have k to be equals minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 20. That will give us minus what? Minus 16. Then divided by 2. Right. So from here we have k to be equals minus 2 plus or minus. This root minus 16 can be split as root of minus 1 multiplied by root of 16. Then all divided by 2. So we have k to be equals minus 2 plus or minus. This root of minus 1 is what? Is i. Okay, then root of 16 is 4 divided by 2. Right? So now from there, we can have k to be equals. We can see 2 is common in all. So it means that 2 divided by 2 here, we're going to have minus 1 plus or minus this divide by 2 we're going to be having i2 and coming to the denominator 2 divided by 2 here we're going to be having 1 so therefore we have what we have k2 to be minus 1 plus or plus i2 or we said 2i okay or we said k3 equals minus 1 minus 2i so we have what we have this and what and this why we have k1 to be what k1 to be 2 so these are the three solutions we have okay these are the three solutions we have so let's quickly check let's quickly check for only when k when k equals 2 so when k equals 2 that is the one that is real uh, solution so we're going to have k okay dot k dot k plus k equals 10 that is from the equation given to us so we're going to have 2 dot 2 dot 2 plus 2 is this going to give us 10 now 2 times 2 times 2 that will give us 8 plus 2 is this going to give us 10? So we can see 8 plus 2 is 10 equals 10. So therefore, we have what? We have that. If you put this uh, complex root also back to this, maybe by using your calculator, you see that they are going to satisfy the given equation. So thank you so much for watching. Kindly share this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done that before so that you can enjoy more of our amazing content. Thank you. Bye-bye.